On the 19th of February 2017, the people of Australia commemorated the 75th anniversary of the bombing of Darwin. The ceremonies began at the USS Peary Memorial, with the service attended by dignitaries from around the world, including the Governor-General, His Excellency General the Honourable Sir Peter Cosgrove, Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, Opposition Leader Bill Shorten and Chief Minister for the Northern Territory Michael Gunner, as well as Senators, Ministers and the Lord Mayor of Darwin Katrina Fong Lim. Following the speeches, wreaths were laid in remembrance of the fallen. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. After the ceremony, there was some time to reflect. Then it was a short walk along the esplanade to the cenotaph, where the major ceremony was held. How would the people of this country have felt? In 1942, Australia had a sparse population of seven million. Most of our servicemen were fighting in Europe and North Africa. Another 15,000 of our soldiers had been made prisoners in the Pacific. The values of this nation and the livelihood of its people were under immense threat. The consuming fear of war was rattling across our country's spine, from Perth to Adelaide to Melbourne to Sydney. But as the clocks ticked into 1942, nowhere was more at risk of attack than Northern Australia and standing strong and proud in the middle of that cloud of threat on the edge of Asia was a small frontier town called Darwin. The resilient territory spirit was born from this tragedy. We are strong, we are feisty, we are battlers, and we are together. We are the product of those men and women of World War II, what they fought for what they believed in, when their courage withstood the ultimate test of the deafening explosions of war. We are what you made us. I speak on behalf of the community when I say to you, our beloved veterans of World War II, that we here in Darwin hold you in our hearts with the greatest of pride. We pledge here today to never forget the spirit and sacrifice given in the name of our nation and our city. We will always remember you. Thank you. Of the sunburned country, a land of sweeping plains, of ragged mountain ranges, of drought flooding rains. I love her far horizons, I love her jewels see, the beauty and the terror, the wide world for me.
Directors of the Australian Defence Force. Your Excellency General Sir Peter Cosgrove and all the many other veterans who are here today, the service men and women of Australia and the United States. We are here today gathered as the Governor General acknowledged on the land of the Larrakia people to remember the day 75 years ago, in 1942, when a formation of silver flecks glinting in the mid-morning sun appeared over the horizon. Some of our troops were buoyed by the sight, mistaking the planes for British reinforcements. But by the time the rising sun insignia was overhead, they knew they were under attack. And as the roar of the bombers and fighters began raining down terror upon this vulnerable city, they leapt to the defence of their nation. Australia's worst fear had been realised. Our nation was under direct attack for the first time. 188 Japanese aircraft came in the first wave, 260 in all. More than 240 people were killed here and up to 400 more were wounded. Many were civilians, ordinary Australians, going about their lives, imagining that the war was far away. Soldiers, sailors, airmen of the Australian and United States Armed Services died alongside them, defending our land, skies and sea. And today we pay tribute to those who died, to those who survived and fought on, to those who lost mates and family. And we are honoured, all of us, the leaders of the nation, of the territory, of the city, all of us honoured to be in the company of you, veterans and survivors of that day. We, your sons and daughters, stand in awe at the selflessness, courage and sacrifice of your generation. You won the war. You saved the nation. You preserved and defended our freedom. And then, with forgiveness, you built the peace. We salute you. This morning, the Governor-General and I and many other citizens, representatives of the United States and of Japan, laid wreaths to honour the 91 members of the United States Navy who lost their lives on the United States ship period. Brave men who came to rest here in waters far from home. And here in Darwin and around the world, our two nations' finest continue to serve shoulder to shoulder, partners in freedom's cause. Today we honour all who were on Australia's front line 75 years ago. And to those who defended our shores so bravely, your nation owes you a great debt. We know that the best way to, to honour the diggers of a century ago, of 75 years ago, is by looking after the servicemen and women, the veterans and the families of today. Your sacrifice and the sacrifice of the people of Darwin will never be forgotten. Enduring and timeless too will be the gratitude of our nation that you defended so bravely in our darkest hours, lest we forget. Thank you, Prime Minister.